Hello, I'm here to speak directly to a retired Dallas police officers and firefighters, as well as veteran officers and firefighters who are retirement eligible. There's been a lot of rhetoric recently about the Dallas police and fire pension system and how we reach the serious financial crisis that we find ourselves in today. This is a very serious topic because it involves your financial future and in, therefore it impacts your entire family, it impacts your life, I understand that. I am particularly concerned that amid this discussion, some great people are being personally and I believe unfairly tarnished. Specifically, much of the recent discussion has centered around the Deferred Retirement Option Plan, or DROP. You know it. It's an incentive that was created to retain experienced employees who would otherwise retire. It allowed you to deposit pension contributions into a retired savings account. Now, the allure of DROP was also its downfall. It guaranteed members 8 to 10 percent returns even during the recession, when many other peer cities were not off offering interest at all. I want to be very clear about how I feel because I've chosen my words very carefully and I choose them very carefully today. I don't blame anyone who took advantage of the drop incentive. Those who did so were not greedy. You are not irresponsible. You are not reckless. You were simply taking advantage of an opportunity that, frankly, never should have been offered to you. The problem, as we've seen, particularly in these past few months, is that the program was not sustainable, especially if we are to protect the overall pension fund for future generations of cops and firefighters, something I want to do and I know you want to do as well. Terrible investment decisions were made over that time that we must all pay for now. But I want to differentiate between the relatively small group of decision makers and you, the men and women who devoted your lives to protecting our city. I want to differentiate between the poor decisions made by some regarding the fund investments and the personal decisions you made in the interest of you and your families, many of you still living frugally and saving for the future. You did not create this mess and you should not be blamed for it. That is why I am genuinely, truly sorry for how you as individuals are being portrayed. Our goal now is to save this pension fund, to keep it in place not only for you, but for our younger officers and firefighters. This is where the difficult decisions come. The city has a plan to stabilize the pension fund so you can always have the benefits that were constitutionally guaranteed to you. Under this plan though, everyone, including taxpayers, must share in the solution. That's why it includes a billion dollars in incremental public funds, taxpayer money, into the fund over the next 30 years to fully fund the system. Now you can read more about the plan in SaveThePension.com. We're holding meetings with pension board and police associations, firefighter association leaders to better understand each other and we're going to continue to do that. But I am confident that we can and will implement a plan to fix our pension fund. We may disagree about some strategies going forward, I'm not naive to that, however, I want to assure you that I will always be transparent to you and I will never, never disrespect the immense contributions you have made to continue to make our city great. Thank you for listening to me.